hello it's Sarah I just have a haul you guys I have some inspiration I just figured I'd share what I'm thinking um, it's a combo it's from a couple different um, I went to Hobby Lobby and Michaels today I was inspired by someone I saw on Facebook and I cannot think of her name and I knew I saw these these are at Hobby Lobby and they're actually I want to say 40% off right now um, anywho I'm pretty sure they're on sale so I didn't even pay $3.99 look at all these pins it says there's 54 pieces in here that's 54 and I got three of them because I figured even if I don't use them this year I generally do some type of crafty Christmas time um, uh, what am I a make and take or a, um, what is it called um, something that you give someone without expecting anything in return <laughs> I can't think of what I'm trying to say I'm gonna make pins out of these and this woman on Facebook posted her picture of these painted and they just look too cute to resist so I went specifically to get them um, so I'm going to be painting these just using my own d directions. There's really no directions for pins for Christmas. And I mean this, yeah, they're all kind of Christmassy. They're definitely Christmassy. I think they had one that was, um, snowflakes and what a simple, what a, 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 a random act of kindness. Sorry. I knew I would think of it. Um, random act of kindness. Sometimes um, I've done this over the years. Tracy Moreau has little things that she gifts people on her Facebook page, but um, it's nice. Like even if you paint up a bunch, you just do them kind of assembly line, and then you can give them to the checker at the grocery store, or you can give them to your neighbor or your mailman, and it's just it just makes me feel good. It makes me feel good. Um, I went to my meeting on Monday, which was Halloween, and I gave everyone a pumpkin pin, and everything's gone. Let me see if I even have any pumpkin. Yep, these little pumpkin pins that I painted with you guys um, on my channel. So I gifted every, I think I have like four left, you know. Anywho, I did that. Then, and, and they have stuff like this at the Dollar Tree. Now, there's 54 pieces in here, so that's a really good buy. I, and it was on 40% off, or 60%. I don't even remember. I think I have my receipt. 60% off Christmas. So these came to a dollar sixty a piece, and at my dollar store, things are even a dollar thirty-five. Like they're not even a dollar. I did get this at my dollar store today, though. It's by Crafter Square. And it, what I think there's eight Santas in here that I can paint. So I'll probably paint these as little ornaments. And if I don't use them this year, I'll have them. But I try not to buy it if I'm not going to use it, which it's really hard. And I think I got this at Michael's. It was probably super cheap. But I thought these are like foam with glitter. Like they're, um, yeah, they're like foam. But I like to put these on things. Anyway, they're just handy to have when you open your drawer. It's just something that you can have. So, um, oh, and I also got these at Hobby Lobby. Oh, no, I got these at the Chris at the dollar store. I got these at the dollar store, and I thought I was going to try. Now, there's eight, six pieces in here for a dollar whatever that I think I'm going to try and mosaic. I could paint it, but I think I want to mosaic it, and I might use beads. I might do one with beads. There's six of them. And I might do one with tile. I don't know. Um, but I just thought they're... And you could also use them for hats. Like you could make a witch's hat. You could do a lot of things with them. I don't know. I've just never experimented with cones. Um, so I just got those. This was Michael's, I think. And this was definitely on sale. And Sherry, if you're watching, I meant to... These have been sitting in a bag and I for, kind of forgot about them. But this, how good for polymer clay. They're really shallow and they're just leaves but we use leaves a lot like these could just be green and these are maple leaves so they're really maple leaves these are green leaves these are like an oak leaf and then this I don't even know but there's four different types of leaves that you could have in your stash for polymer clay and um, I believe it would work fairly well and it was on sale because a lot of stuff from um, uh, Halloween is now on sale so I think that's that's it 
the other oh I got beads because I'm still making my um, I'm gonna be making a bracelet you guys and I shared these with you these were from Target and there's two gnomes in here for three dollars and I think I'm gonna do I'm probably gonna do a couple I don't know I have two sets so I have I could do them for anything or you could just do them for um, all year round but these are beads that I got these beads were on sale um, let's see color gallery I want to say this was Michael's I'm not positive but look at these are like tree of life I'm gonna make a bracelet today look at these they're just glitter these are called I don't even know I think they're glass with glitter in them um, so I'm expanding my at first I was just doing semi precious beads like today I'm wearing citrine um, I don't think this is a semi precious I think it's it might be and then I think this one's called Labradorite, which I love. But now I've kind of evolved to just whatever. Like, I just wanted a red. This is glass. It's just that I was going to do a Phillies bracelet, I think, because the Phillies are doing good. This is just gorgeous. I think it's shell. And I just thought it was gorgeous. I got two of them. And especially when they're on sale, guys, when they're 50% off. Oh, my God. I just can't. I can't wait. And I thought this and this together I am making something with this today <laughs> and it's gonna say believe wait 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 no it's gonna say response ability so I'm gonna put a little space in between it because responsibility is the ability to be responsive to respond accordingly response ability my ability to respond OMG I am just learning and because I've reacted so much instead of responding. I'm just thrilled. This is so gorge. I can't even. I'm so inspired. I got some little hearts because I'm always looking to put a heart on. This is just made of river shell. And a lot of times you find the hearts and they're either... Um, I just didn't like what they were made of. And I just thought this was simple. And it was white and it matches the lettering. So if I put a white heart, it would be good. And then, of course, I got some... Um, rose quartz which is a bigger millimeter this is a 10 millimeter i think oh eight millimeter this is just river shell again so this is made of the same stuff i don't know i'm just expanding my this is actually blue aventurine and what's this one made this is an eight millimeter too i think it's jasper oh it's called kyanite and i probably got it because i'd never heard of it but it's gorge and I like to do breeze when it's a blue one I don't know why I just feel like it's good anywho but look at this gorgeousness and I think this would even play with this <gasps> OMG anyway so I'm very glad I found that bag the other thing I wanted to share was okay the last thing I bought which was on sale today was a, a billfold kit it was 40% off it was $14 at Hobby Lobby and guys I might be venturing into leather crafting I don't know I'm gonna try this one I found a YouTube video with this kit in it and I'm gonna try it I don't think let me open this but this was on sale it's 40% off and I should have gotten more stuff because like I might need different things but I have a mallet like I don't need what they say like it says it tells you kit has and then you will need a craft knife and mallet I have a craft knife um, stamping tools leather dies and leather finish so I don't have that stuff I just feel like for eight for ten bucks I wanted to see what this had so this is the piece that could be like a cover piece that I can stamp on and color like it would be more like the picture like this that's the piece that I could stamp the rest of it is like the filler it's like the inside the workings of the wallet like the pockets and so this has a couple different pockets for like credit cards I don't even know so and then it gives you the leather I think there should be a pin in here like a so let's see if it has the pin. lace and needle I don't know if I lost my needle already but I have needles but still um, supposed to have a needle so anyway I'll find it hopefully 
regardless I'm gonna try it and see what it's like because the glow forge also has a leather I can cut leather on the glow forge and maybe I can cut all the pieces and then I do the stamping like the actual or the burning because you can burn leather um, and so we'll see I'm just it was on sale and I've been thinking about it and I don't see a pin in here um, a needle lace and needle so I'm wondering if it's in here no I don't see it maybe it's in the bag no I don't see it I'll check my um, table better in a minute so that being said the last thing I wanted to talk to you guys about was I got another plum purdy um, she calls it a here's my box I ordered I think I mentioned that I ordered this it's called a tear bundle I think that's what she calls it let's see um, the autumn tiered bundle it's forty six dollars and in that I got like four or five different things it's like when I did the bumblebee bundle remember the be kind the little bumblebee gnome this and then there was another piece it was like a little bumblebee but anyway these are more summery so I wanted to get the fall one. Oh, I have one other piece I want to get here I'll be right back all right so far of the pieces that came with it I've painted him and look how pretty it looks with the gold leafing like I did on the um, pins I decided to do it on here let me see if I did it to my bumblebee see now I didn't on my bumblebees I just like painted the sides to match which looks pretty too um, it looks fine there's nothing wrong with that so see how I just brought the color over the edge to kind of so it didn't look messy um, even though I'm keeping them but on these I decided to put the gold leafing on the edge and I just love how it looks like when this is sitting I put this at my little coffee um, station pumpkin spice which I happen to be a fan of I am very basic and I love pumpkin spice lattes I love them from Wawa I'm from New Jersey and we have Wawa here and I like them from Starbucks too but look how cute and then I put this little piece of twine and I have it hanging like right at my little coffee station with my pumpkin this guy is another piece of it and there's another um, piece this one there's a little I'm gonna um, gold him up right right now like in a minute it's so nice out though it makes me I went out already but I have to glue this on here and then this can stand with my little fall decor thing I did it's a little ear of corn with a, uh, a crow and then there's a mason jar that I've only begun and I'm just gonna paint a crow and a sunflower on that but the one I'm going to do, I kind of, I wanted this one and I figured, but I'm moving on to this one. Look how cute this is. So this is from Plum Purdy, which is Renee Mullins. And I've painted a lot of her stuff on my channel, on my YouTube channel. And I think I might have been breaking um, copyright because I don't know that I should be teaching her work on my channel unless it's a freebie. That's why I was able to do those pumpkins. So unless I ask her permission. So I'm going to look into that, but I'm not going to be teaching these. I'm just sharing them with you because if you're interested, I'm pretty sure she's going to be doing, I hope she's going to do a winter one and then a Christmas one. I hope because then I can replace them every season and stuff. Like anyway, here it says autumn. It's the back of a truck. It's got, let me show you the picture. OMG. And that's not all. I went to, this is the picture look how cute it's the little pickup truck with the wheels look it's like a stenciled little pattern I don't have the stencil this doesn't go to it like that little metal thing I think that's just part of the tray but it has a corn thing a corn husky thing a, a sunflower and pumpkins and the truck it's just too cute so this is gonna go in my little set with him and then with my little this so cute and then this is going to go somewhere else so I'm looking I'm hoping she continues with these because 
I got the summer one. I have the fall one. And I think that might be, and I think she might have like an Easter one and a 4th of July one. So she's doing holidays and seasons. So I'm hoping she's working on winter and Christmas and that, you know, whatever. And I could add a little turkey in here. Like, I don't know. I, I might have to find a turkey. But what I was thinking, um, at the Dollar Tree, they have little shapes like this. They had like a, a Santa, like that were the wood pieces. And then if you got that, you could paint along with the Santa with me, if I, if I paint a Santa, you know what I mean? Which I might end up just designing my own little Santa face and like painting this with you. But just to say that, um, I'm really feeling reinvigorated and grateful and I hope that you all are finding your way to your serenity today um you know it's funny my my channel is called my serenity crafts and i never realized how how grateful i am to have this this platform and this crafting ability because it has been my serenity for a long time and i know i always find serenity when i come in here but now I'm able to take it with me outside in my life outside of this room. And that's where I've been lately. I've been out and, and discovering myself, my authentic self, and rediscovering things about myself. So my Serenity Crafts is um, it's more uh, meaningful to me these days than it ever was. Because um, what happens in this craft room truly is my serenity and then I'm able to share it with you guys so it's just really coming full circle so that's my haul I hope you all have a great day and if you can't just have an average day it's okay all right thanks for watching